Hello, my name is Yonis. This in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a bullet, a fire bullet, by using Construct 3. The process is exactly the same on Construct 2 as well, if you are using Construct 2. Here I have a guy. I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to put some behaviors there. I'm going to apply the platform behavior. And I'm going to make him solid as well. Okay. The next thing we need to do, uh, I have created a platform here. So I think I already applied the solid behavior here. Yeah, that's good. And I have now created something that I'm going to have to shoot and basically kill. Now, the next thing we need to do is create a bullet. So I'm going to double click here and I'm going to scroll down and then select Sprite. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as Sprite for, let's create, a, a, let's say, ball. And then I will say insert. I'm going to fire a ball there. Yeah. Just to keep it PG instead of bullets. Yeah. Now, uh, so what I need to do now, I'll just click here once. I'm just going to create a little circle here, a little ball here. Okay. And then I'm going to crop it. I'm going to exit this. And here is my ball. I'm going to make the ball a bit smaller. And let's hold the control key down while I'm using the wheel on my mouse and then I'm going to release the control key so let's move this okay so this is my bullet let's see that bullet fits there okay let's make it a bit smaller this will do okay now that's good, okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to place this bullet outside my stage. So I don't want to actually see it, I'm only going to see it through uh, from here. The next thing we need to do is put some action script, uh, actions. So I'm going to go to the event sheet and add a new event. The first event I need to put is uh, a keyboard. Because I cannot see my keyboard here, I need to exit this, I need to go back to the uh, layout. I'm going to double click here on the white area. I'll right click and select insert new object. And this object I'm going to insert is a keyboard object. Okay, so nothing will happen, but I've got here my keyboard here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the event sheet. I'm going to add a new event. I'm going to add a keyboard event. And then I will say on key pressed. Okay, so on key pressed, I'm going to click here. I'm going to press the right key on the keyboard. And then I'm going to click done. Then I'm going to put another event here again, which is a keyboard event. And then I'm going to put again on key pressed. And this time I'm going to select this. I'm going to select the left button on my keyboard and click done. So I've got the right key and the left key button pressed. The next thing is a space bar. So I'm going to click on the add event. Double click on the keyboard. Oops, let's cancel. Let's go back. Okay, double click on the keyboard and then on key release, double click there. I'm going to click here. I'm going to press the space bar on my keyboard. Okay, so on press key, on sorry, on space bar. So I'm just going to press the space bar here. We're going to click OK. We're going to click done. Okay, we have now three key presses so the right key the left key and the space bar the next thing we need to do is put some actions now i'm going to add a new action i'm going to select my player and i'm going to click next and then i'm going to say set mirror i'm going to type here the word mirror set mirrored and i will say not mirrored i'm going to click done now I'm going to click here on the action, on the left key, press. I'm going to select my player. This time I'm going to just double click him. I'm going to type here set mirror. And I'm going to leave it as mirrored. Okay. The next thing we need to do is add an action on when the space bar is pressed. So I'm going to click an action and then I'm going to say the sprite, my player, and then I'm going to say spawn. So type the word spawn, spawn another, another object. 
and then the other object is my bow click OK and click done the next thing we need to do is add a new event this new event is the bow and then we're going to click next and then we're going to say create it so we're going to say on create it we want something to happen what we want to happen is we're going to put a system action and we're going to wait a little bit we're going to put a delay basically so wait and we're just going to, i'm just going to leave it to 1.0 seconds and then once we wait for that long then we're going to destroy this bullet so i'm going to double click on the bullet i'm going to type the word here on the search bar destroy so after one point sec one point oh seconds it will be destroyed the next thing we need to do is add a new event this time it's going to be the player so we're going to double click on player and then we're going to say is mirrored so we're going to say is mirrored oops double click on is mirrored and then we're going to put an action and the action is a ball and we're going to set basically the angle okay so set angle and we're going to set it to one eight hundred and eight degrees so when it's mirrored it's going to be 108 degrees so click done the final thing we need to do is spawn basically the object okay so, so sorry destroy the object that we have actually created that one's here in fact before we, before i move on because i gave you quite a lot of events here let's see what happens so the first screen the, the first uh, event will basically help us when we actually press the right key on the keyboard the player will actually move move on this direction when we actually click on the left key the player will basically change direction and uh, when we press the space bar the player will fire a ball let's test it okay so if i move my right key on my keyboard it's moving if i move the left key on my keyboard can you see here it's changed direction okay and if i press the space bar okay i've got a problem there actually a couple problems there okay it's not first of all it's not moving second of all is on his head and is not on the kind of gone that i have created here now let's close this now to fix the issue with uh, the bullet firing alongside going along what we need to do we need to select the bullet and add the behavior and add a new behavior and this behavior is a bullet click add now this will fix this issue let's test it so now if i fire the gun okay it's firing the bullets and the bullets only last for 1.0 seconds and then they destroy after 1.0 seconds if i increase the time frame then the bullet will fly for a lot longer okay so i can actually fire the bullets on different directions okay now what i need now i need to make sure that the bullet is firing from the, his gun yeah this guy's gone here so to do this we need to make sure that we're going to double click on our player and we're going to select this little option here that says edit the image points and we're going to put this edit the image points right in the middle here okay so now we're going to click exit and let's put this player further down let's press play to test it now if i press the, the bullet i could actually make it a bit further down just slightly so let's double click here again and make it further down a bit okay let's press play again yeah it's coming right from the middle now okay okay cool okay so when it's mirrored is is active differently so we need to sort this out okay so what we need to do is we're gonna go let's exit this let's fix the first issue there let's have a look here uh, with this select let's put it right in the middle there let's fix this issue first 
yeah so nice firing right in the middle okay so as you can see now it's firing right in the middle so when the problem you have is when you select the object if the object the center point is a different location yeah like probably was there before everything is messes up so that's okay and if we we'll change that can you see that everything is messes up so it is important for you when you actually created the objects to actually make sure you always select the apply the center point to the correct location that you want let's place it there uh, just about right okay let's exit and let's double click here let's make the bullet a bit further in you can always zoom in to actually be a bit more precise this will do and now if we test it again okay that's more perfect let's go to this side okay as you can see i can see from the inside how it goes in now if you don't want to actually see this you can always put this center point a bit uh further up so if i zoom in a lot you can always put this somewhere there let's see if that fixes the issue yeah this fixes the issue okay now the next thing we need to do is basically every time this object collides with this object to be destroyed this object to be destroyed so to do this we need to go to the event seat we're going to add a new event and this event will be the ball coll on collision with another object so we're going to double click here on collision with another object this object is this sprite 2 that i've created and what we want to do we want for this object to be destroyed so we're going to select destroy object okay so we're going to test this now okay so i've destroyed two objects with one bullet yay okay and this is how you create in a, a bullet that basically kills objects by using construct 3 hope you've learned something new today and i hope you will be able to apply these new skills onto your construct 2 or your construct 3 project as the process is exactly the same thank you very much for watching bye